Hi, it's Corrine for the Cut at Home Design Team, and today I have a fall themed chipboard mini album to share with you. I do have a full start to finish on this video that I put in fast play, so if you're interested in watching how this album came together, then please stay tuned. And if you check out Cut at Home's blog, you'll find all the products that I've used linked there for you. So if you have any questions on what I've used, then check out Cut at Home's blog. So the album today I made using a stand that I had. This is a stand-up frame. And um, I wanted to show, in case you don't have a frame like this, I've had this in my stash for quite a while, and it just hangs on the frame, so it makes for a very pretty display. So you'll see detailed photos of that. But I also wanted to bind it with ribbon to show you, if you don't have a frame like that, you can still make an album like this just bound with ribbon. So for this album, I used the Beautiful Heartfelt Creations Classic Sunflower Kit, and that's the papers that you see um, on all the chipboard. I did use some of the cutouts and a little bit of the paper from Simple Stories Harvest Lane collection and that's what this home family love Count Your Blessings is from. This flower is a handmade flower and I show how I did that. I used the classic sunflower from Heartfelt Creations, the stamp and die set, and then I used several of Tim Holtz Distress Inks to color that in. And this middle piece here, I had in my stash, it came with some Petaloo flowers. I wish I could find where to get those because I think it looks beautiful and I no longer have any more of those. This here and the leaves are from a um, fall spray that I think I got from Walmart. I've added a couple stickers from the collection at the bottom and some of this burlap um, trim from Wild Orchid Crafts. I used some brown satin ribbon and some large eyelets to set my pages with. So when you open the album, you can um, add a photo here. This is a Spellbinders die, and again, I have it listed on the Cut at Home blog. I have another handmade flower with some of these beautiful skeleton leaves, and I also have some skeleton leaves on the front. These are from Wild Orchid Crafts. To the center of this flower, I added some of the sea beads in black and just added a bunch of hot glue in there and just set them in there. I think it turned out so pretty. So this next page here, again a handmade flower with a sparkle um, piece from Wild Orchid Crafts. I used this banner hello from the Simple Stories collection and underneath I added some lace trim for my pocket and added a couple of the journaling spots. So little photos can be added in this as well. This chipboard album is six and a quarter by five inches tall. On this page, I used this beautiful Spellbinders Floor to Elegance die. I love this die. And this is the Heartfelt Creations paper. Added some more flowers and a piece of the cutout. This here, I believe, is the Label 17 die. Again, um, to be sure, you can go on the blog. I have it listed. I added another flower with some more of the burlap trim. And these here are like plastic flowers. I also have some brown, not flowers, excuse me, leaves. And I also have some brown leaves in the back there as well. This page again, another Spellbinders die. To this one though, I cut out the frame and the center part cuts out as well. So I cut out two pieces of lightweight chipboard to go behind the center piece. That way it pops it up off the page. Again, love this paper. Added some more of the flowers. And the last page, I made a little pocket. Used some of the Simple Stories cut aparts. I added an acrylic flower and two stickers. And then some journaling tags from the collection. This one I printed out myself and added that to it. And then here is the back of the album. So check out Cut It Home's blog. Everything will be linked there. And I hope you stay tuned for the start to finish of how this album came together. Thanks so much for watching. Mm -hmm.